In August 2022, I moved about 200 kilometers east from Evanga on the south coast to Zinkwazi Lagoon Lodge, which is a lovely spot on the coast of KZN, about 100 kilometers from Durban. Zinkwazi Lagoon Lodge is a holiday resort with cabins and swimming pools and a restaurant, as well as a caravan park, just a stone's throw from some beautiful beaches. The caravan park takes up most of the area and is located under a canopy of tropical trees, which provide great beauty and some well-needed shade from the sun. There must be about 80 camping sites here, all of which have electricity and drinkable water. Each section has its own ablution block, most of which are closed, as there are very few campers these days after the COVID lockdown debacle. The area has various security systems in place and the park has gate security on weekends and busy periods. I felt very safe both in the park or walking in the area. DSTV reception is very bad here due to the trees blocking off the signal from the satellite and I struggled throughout my stay to get good television reception. The canopy of trees also has the effect of holding in the humidity. I was here in August and September 2020. The weather was generally good, but I've heard that it's very hot and humid in the summer months. There are two swimming pools to counter the heat, one in the center of the park and the other near the lagoon, and the sea is close by. There's a river that borders the one side of the park, providing great canoeing and water sports, and I heard that there's some quite good fishing down there. The river's been closed at the sea to form a lagoon. Speedboats are allowed when the water is deep enough, and there's some good skiing on the lagoon, and there are launch ramps to launch your boat. There's a small launch fee, and once you've paid that, you can park your boat at the dock at no extra charge, which is very nice. I parked my caravan right next to the swimming pool in the middle of the park. There's a lovely little pond next to the pool that's home to ducks and other bird life, and it's stocked with tilapia. Every day when I opened my caravan door, I'd see a couple of expectant duck faces which seemed to say, Where's the bread? I've always imagined that ducks would have a terrible lisp if they could speak English. Initially, they wouldn't come near me, but after a week or so, one was sitting in my lap. It's amazing what a slice of bread will do. I named them Mrs. Whiteley and Mrs. Greenish, and during my two months stay they became an extension of my little family. The sea is a kilometre walk from the Lagoon Lodge. You have to go down the road. You can't just walk directly to the beach from the park. But I always enjoyed the walk. At low tide the rocks are exposed, and the sun warms the water in the rock pools that are all over the place. Often when I was sitting in one of these pools or splashing in the little waves that come in with the incoming tide, I'd think of the swimming pool movies that you get on television. People pay $100,000 to have this pool built in their gardens, and here I was having a choice of about 30 pools, all of different shapes and sizes and depths, beautifully warmed by the sun, and I was getting it all, as well as the atmosphere of the beach, for free. Zinkwazi Lagoon Lodge has a restaurant and bar area in the middle of the park and there are a number of cabins and chalets that are available to rent for a day or for a weekend or however long you want. The park has an old washing machine and tumble dryer. The cost is 40 rand per load. Internet reception here was very good. I use Vodacom for data now and the service from Vodacom is generally very good. I'm really very happy that I got rid of Cell C. The rate out of season for a monthly pensioner is 3,800 rand per month. That's almost double the rates of the parks further south. So I wasn't surprised that apart from a horde of school holiday campers, I had the place to myself. It was empty. It was just a little overpriced. There's a little cafe to buy milk and bread close by, but I had to travel to Stanger, which is about 25 kilometers away, to do any proper shopping. At the caravan park, you can park anywhere. There's a very relaxed feel from the staff and management, and everyone was friendly. There was an ablution block open quite close to me, and this had just been renovated, but it was probably the worst design that I've ever seen. 
Black tiles were used in the showers, so you can hardly see a thing, especially at night. You end up groping around in the dark for your soap. It's absolutely ridiculous. There are no soap holders in the shower and no hooks to hang your clothes on. There's also no place to dry off after your shower. Everyone has to stand stark naked in the middle of the aisle in full view of everyone else. And you see some sights that you really didn't want to see. On the bright side, once the hot water came through, I experienced a very nice shower. I asked many people for their ratings for this caravan park, and I was surprised that the answers varied so much. Some folks wanted closer ablutions and facilities and gave the park a rating of 6 out of 10. Most others liked the Lagoon Lodge and gave it a rating of 7 or 8. There was one very enthusiastic young fellow who said it was definitely a 10. The ratings from the children were higher than from the adults, so your youngster will love it. I enjoyed my two months stay at St. Quasi Lagoon Lodge and I give it a rating of 7 out of 10. If you've stayed here, give us your rating in the comment section and in a year or two, we'll have a very good average rating to work with. Mm -hmm.